One more time. Hey, it's the Bulletin Man. Friday night. It's March 9th, 2012. The last day of Central Standard Time. The government steals another... One more thing from us tomorrow. That's another hour. We go back to the stupid Central Daylight Savings Time. And I really don't like that. Uh, but that's one more thing the Bulletin Man has got to bitch about. And I got a lot to complain about today. So I'm not going to talk about the time. Uh, I do have, by the way, the new Bulletin is in my possession. Thanks to the folks who now print the Bulletin. I'm not going to name who prints the Bulletin anymore. Uh, but I do have to thank Nathan at DNL Printing. Nathan took care of printing the Bulletin for many years. And he is still my printing buddy. And his phone number is 214 Five seven eight sixty one thirty five for all your printing needs and the new bulletin is red. I did get these out in Hillsboro today and that's really what I want to talk about today is what's going on in Hillsboro. Did Festus Main Street as well. Scott from A and B Pond has got a new book out. I've actually bought Scott's book about how to live healthy. I'm gonna look forward to, to uh, reading that. Scott down at A and B Pond's a true American. Loves this country and he's got wrote a book and I actually bought it from Scott. It's only five bucks and I just read a couple of pages of it and I already got my five bucks worth out of it. But I wanted to talk about Judge Bashard uh, on February 24th, a couple of Friday nights ago. Um, the Jefferson County and wrote about uh, Judge Bashard being removed from the criminal docket. Judge Bashard is simply out of control in Jefferson County and. Uh, some of the lawyers and powers that be over there in Jefferson County have about had enough of old Judge Bashard, and they are doing everything they can to neutralize this man and get him off criminal cases because Judge Bashard likes to put people on probation and give them conditions for their bonds uh, when they have basically not even been convicted of a crime. And, and he puts such crazy conditions on bonds like, uh, stay out of entire cities, uh, don't drive up I-55. Uh, they start off with these like outrageous bond amounts and then reduce them down. Uh, and then the folks who really deserve to have a bond, uh, a high bond, to get like a ten and $20,000 bond. But Judge Bashard is out of control. And, you know, my complaint was filed at the beginning of February with Mr. Smith at the Commission for Retirement and Removal and Discipline of Judges. I'm also talking to uh, the, one of the last courageous state representatives, Paul Kurtman, about bringing impeachment charges against Judge Stephen Bashard. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to get him and his ilk uh, removed from the benches. You know, the way this country's set up and the way it's all supposed to work out, folks is that uh, you are innocent until proven guilty in this country and the reason why they put a bond up for you is so that you actually show up in court but now they have drug courts and they have all kinds of special conditions for these bonds and there is a private probation lady named Tammy Berg and Newman who is uh, just making a, a killing off of uh, people who really can't afford to be involved in the criminal system and uh, the folks who do actually go through the criminal system have to spend literally hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend themselves in situations and uh, there are some lawyers and judges out there who realize that the whole criminal system has kind of gotten out of hand, out of control and they're doing everything they can to uh, bring this to light and one of the ways they're doing that is by contacting the bulletin man and I really can't name who these people are or they wouldn't be, it'd be persona non grata in Hillsboro, it's not only Hillsboro, I also hear from folks in Union, I hear from folks in Steelville and I hear from folks even still in Wayne County uh, about the uh, criminal enterprise of, of what is going on throughout the, throughout the justice system and you know at one time I used to think all the lawyers were bad and you know what the majority of them still are, uh, but there are a few of them out there who really do care about what's going on, who care about people, who are hardworking folks, and they want to do right. Of course, they're caught up in the system. They can only do so much, but God bless the ones who do. In Bourbon, I'm going to make an entire video about Bourbon uh, sometime on Saturday. I got some dental work done on Wednesday, so my mouth is not totally healed, so I'm not going to talk a long time tonight. But on last Friday, I sent a... Uh, Sunshine Law requested the folks at the city of Bourbon, and Kathy, the clerk, is on uh, at the clerk's meeting sometime this uh, all week. And um, I was able to contact the folks over at Bourbon City Hall, and Tina, she's been uh, very good to me, but she's uh, really couldn't give me the information I was seeking. 
um, Bob Davis, who is the city attorney, uh, wanted like a $250 deposit for me to obtain the information that I was going to publicly disseminate. And by sunshine law, you really can't do that, Bob. But who really cares what the law says? I mean, that, I mean just because they write it down doesn't mean anything, huh, Bob? Uh, so I certainly have a problem with uh, Bob Davis, the Bourbon City Attorney. And, of course, he realizes that. But the biggest problem I have over there in the city of Bourbon is Mayor Leonard Armstrong. Now, remember we brought you the whole deal about the BCDC? But they were going to move some dirt to fill in there at the BCDC. And, and someone put a bug in my ear that, hey, perhaps they, uh, after Leonard said they weren't going to use city funds to move this dirt from the city owned industrial park to the privately uh, run nonprofit corporation, the BCDC, who has never still, for the last eight months, we've tried to get them to produce their books. They still have never produced their books. Well, it turns out, perhaps, if I could get a hold of the right information, that they move the dirt with city funds and using city equipment for a private corporation who has failed to produce their books. Bulls and is trying to fight a war on two fronts. Now, openings for sheriff and for elected officials did open on schedule on March, uh, sometime, uh, I think at the beginning of March. They will close on Tuesday, March 27th. Bolton man will be running for office, and I can't really qualify to run for sheriff, obviously, in Jefferson County, since I no longer reside in Jefferson County, but I have taken up residence in Crawford County, and uh, since I do reside in Crawford County, I will be running for office in Crawford County. Um, there again, I don't really qualify to run for the office of sheriff, and I think I could sue them over the cop school thing. Since I ran for sheriff in 2000, they changed the law to where you got to go to 700 hours of cop school. Uh, I could sue them over that, and I still might run for sheriff over in Crawford County, but I'm probably going to run for uh, another office over there. I'm thinking about running for circuit clerk. Boy, they'd really put a monkey wrench in the whole thing. I just wouldn't follow anything. It is unconstitutional as a circuit clerk. Um, but there are other avenues in Crawford County, which I'm thinking about running for. But uh, we're just praying that someone in Crawford County will actually stand up against Randy Martin. And uh, if not, we will we will do the our, our darndest to find someone who will. But... Uh, for Judge Bouchard, Judge Dick Hanger, and Judge uh, Miller over in uh, Jefferson County Associate Circuit Judges, uh, folks, um, I, I pray for you. I really do. I pray that you would just get in line with the Constitution. You're upsetting a lot of the lawyers who, who work in Jefferson County. You're upsetting the bonds people who make a living off of producing, uh, posting bonds. And you're upsetting uh, even some other judges there who are... Uh, realizing that you are a liability uh, to their whole operation over there. Uh, so, um, since all this has come out about Bashard, he's actually up the ante. He's getting even more outrageous with his conditions that he puts on bonds. And, Stephen, I'm just here to tell you that uh, big trouble is coming out of the tracks for you, my friend. And uh, you just need to sit back and think about what you're doing. So this is the Bulletin Man. I do love you. It is Friday night. I didn't want to sit here making videos all night long. And like I said, God bless Dr. Filio for taking care of the Bulletin Man's teeth. Uh, eventually I'm going to get them uh, taken care of all the way to where I'll have a nice pretty white smile. <laughs> You'll have to see my yellow tobacco stained teeth. Uh, I am trying to quit smoking, by the way. I, I'm, I'm down about a half a pack a day. But continue to pray for the Bulletin Man if you would. And um, just pray, pray for this country. Pray for uh, pray for America. Ron Paul's coming to town tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get up and see him. Uh, There's a big caucus uh, next Saturday, St. Patrick's Day, in Crawford County. I'll be going down to check that out as well, and uh, being part of that situation. But really, if you want change, it's got to start local, and uh, that's what Bulls and Man's all about. So I will let you go. You have a great evening. We'll talk to you very soon. And as always, I ask you to tell a friend about me. I am the one and only Bulls and Man.